Hello everyone and welcome to a fresh new video of Revit 2024 by BIM Technologies. So this video is a part of the series of Revit for MEP that is Mechanical Electrical Plumbing as well as for the Firefighting Engineers that will help them to kick start or to understand the workflow of building information modeling using Revit. Now here we see that there is a home screen over here of Revit 2024. People who are new to Revit 2024 or Revit interface, uh, they can see that there is a home screen over here. So from the home screen, we are, we are basically switching over to the project settings over here. The project area is over here. And to understand the interface, we will start with a new project so that all the tools that you can see over here are inactive in the Revit interface will become active and then we will learn about the interface of Revit and the usage of every tools that can be used for a mechanical electrical plumbing and firefighting modeling. Now whenever we start a new project for Revit MEP we need to understand that what is the template that we are going to use to start a new project go to the file menu here and there is a new option here click on the project option from the new from the flyout and you see the dialog box over here. So whenever you start with a new project it is very important that you should select a particular template for the project that you are going to work in. Now let us understand what are the templates that are available while you start a new fresh Revit MEP project. Now in order to understand that let us choose the browse button over here and when you choose the browse button it would takes you to the choose template dialog box so here we are in a folder called australia folder which i had previously downloaded from the autodesk revit 2024 content uh, from the website of autodesk so here we have this particular template folder for australia and then you can see that there are various templates that are available uh, to remind the template file is of dot rte format now here you can see there is a mechanical template there is a plumbing template there is a systems template and there is a, a default a u s e n u template now here to remind you that the template that what what template shall you select if you are only working with a mechanical system so so in revit while you're working in revit as an mep modeler we need to remind you that there are different systems that we work in Revit. We have a mechanical system, we have an electrical system, we have a plumbing system, we have a firefighting system. So there are different types of systems that we work. Now depending upon what type of system that we want to, if you are an HVAC designer or, or a mechanical consultant, you can use the mechanical template. If you are a plumbing consultant or a firefighting consultant, you can use the plumbing template. But if you are a whole MEP consultant, you should start with the systems template. Now I'm selecting the systems template over here. I'm choosing the open option. And here you can see that the systems default AUSENU.RT is selected already in the template file drop down list. Now choose the OK option. Now when you select the systems template, So when you select the systems template, you can see that the project browser is populated with different views of different disciplines. Like you have, if you look at the project browser here on the right, you have the electrical discipline, you have the mechanical discipline, you have the plumbing discipline. So for all the disciplines, there are sub-disciplines. For example, the electrical discipline is having two sub-disciplines in this template. One is the lighting sub-discipline and the other is the power sub-discipline. Now in the lighting sub-discipline you have a floor plan and you have lighting plan for 0 and 1 level. Similarly you have a ceiling plan for 0 and 1 level. And for the power sub-discipline you have again the floor plan you do not have the ceiling plan and you have the 3D view for the electrical. And here you can see you have the elevations for the electrical. Similarly, for the mechanical, you have a sub-discipline named as HVAC and by default in this template, you have the floor plan for 0 and floor plan for 1. That is a mechanical floor plan as well as you have the ceiling plan over here. And similarly, the plumbing 
discipline is also having floor plans and ceiling plans. It does not have a ceiling plan, but you have a floor plan and you have a 3D view and elevations. So, here what we need to understand that selection of a template is very important of how you are going to start a project. So, the first interface that we can see we learned about is a project browser. If you close the project browser, you can get it back by clicking right in the white screen and then you can get the project browser. So, this is one of the very important UI or the user interface of Revit MEP. Apart from that, you can see at the top there are various tabs. So, if you are very new to Revit interface for quick you know discussion upon the ribbons that we have. So, Revit is a full fledged software that contains different disciplines like the architecture, structure, steel, precast systems and etcetera. So, if you are an architecture discipline person or you are working as an architect, you can use the architecture tab and you can use the tools in the architecture tab. But we since we are talking about the MEP, you have the systems tab over here and in the systems tab you have the various tools that is basically used to create the systems. That means there are tools in the HVAC panel like the duct tool, the duct placeholder tool or the duct fitting tool or duct accessory tools that convert to flex duct and air terminal tool. So, these are all tools that is used that can be used to create the duct design for an MEP model. Similarly, there are tools for fabrication part and there are tools for MEP fabrication ductwood stiffness and then there are tools to, to insert the mechanical equipment. So, if you look into here that you have a tool called mechanical equipment and there is a tool called mechanical control device. So, this particular tool basically is used to insert a mechanical equipment and similarly the name justifies it basically used to insert the mechanical control device. Here in the right you can see under the systems tab there is a plumbing and piping panel and here you have the tools for piping, you have the tools for pipe placeholders, parallel pipes, pipe fittings and so on. So, here you can see there are tools that by which you can insert plumbing fixtures, plumbing equipment, plumbing fixtures like the WC, like the water tubs and uh, you know you have the bathtubs, the sinks, the plumbing equipment like you have the water pumps, you have the hot water heater and so on. And then you can also use the sprinkler tool to add sprinkler dry or wet sprinkler to the system. Similarly, you can see there is an electrical drop down or you can see electrical panel over here which consists of various tools from w adding wires to adding cable trays to adding conduits to having adding conduit fittings, electrical equipments, devices. So, you can add several devices like the electrical fixtures like the receptacles, you can add receptacle junction boxes like the communication tools like, like for example, if you want to have communication tools for the televisions and other plugs, the data connections like the fire alarms and lighting switches and etcetera. Then you have the lighting fixtures tool that by which you can add or insert lighting fixture too. So, in the series of MEP, we will be having different discussions on electrical, we will be having different discussion on power as well as the lighting in electrical, we will be having this different discussion for HVAC, we will be having different discussion for piping and plumbing and we will be having separate, sev separate discussion for energy modeling. So, this is a series by which you are going to learn different tools in mechanical, electrical and plumbing. Apart from that, uh, you have the an analyze tool which consists of different analysis that you can do while you are working in Revit MEP. Like for example, you can you can check the systems, the duct systems, you can check the pipe systems, you can check the circuits, you can also create legends for the pipe, you can create legends for the duct like for example, you can have different color codes for different uh, flows of air inside a duct. Similarly, you can have different color codes for different color schemes for different pressures in the pipe and so on. Similarly, you can create, you can do HVAC system analysis, you can create an energy model and do an annual energy consumption analysis and there are various other energy analysis that you can do prior to starting with the model. Then here 
there are tools by which you can create spaces, you can create HVAC zones and so on. And then you have different schedules like the panel schedules, like the uh, duct pressure loss report and then you have the pipe pressure loss report. So these are all tools by which you can create reports and schedules. So these are certain tools that is basically used while you will be working in an MEP project. <coughs> Apart from that, you have a property palette here, which is used to check the properties of the objects that you create if you are new to Revit. So I would say that this is the, this is the place from where you can check the properties of the selected object. If nothing is selected, the properties of the view is seen over here. Then at the bottom there is a view control bar, I mean which control the scales, which controls the display of the view and so on. And with this, you know, the interface of Revit can be summed up. Now if you want to customize the Revit interface for only for MEP design or MEP modeling, you can go to the file menu. Here you can go to the options and here under the options dialog box you have something called the user interface. So you can clear the checkboxes of architecture, structure and then you can keep the systems over here and so on. So you can see that your interface is customized for architecture, structure, removed for systems that is mechanical, electrical and plumbing. Apart from that, uh, Revit also allows you to have different kind of canvases like if you go to the view tab you can change the canvas themes to dark or light and so on. So let's meet in the next video of understanding for the first workflow before we do how to set up the project, how to set up the units, how to set up the project location and then how to create different levels for an MEP project and then in the coming videos we will learn how to link an architectural model, how to add spaces and so on. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like a channel. Thank you.